Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Master of Orion 2 Battle at Antares. I'm your host Roger Noriega and we're going to get to this. This is Alpha Niner calling Science Station Hermes. Alpha Niner, this is Science Station Hermes. 5 by 5 And I hope you're hearing me 5 by 5 So let's go ahead and get this game going. As you may remember, all the options you have available to you. I already have it set up to just go ahead and continue. I believe we completed turn 7 and we're going to go ahead and just start up this bad boy. And yes, there we are. So you remember, I was talking last time about taking a risk by taking Whirl. I call it Whirl, even though it's a V. So I've taken this one because there's two other planets right there. And we're going to move forward. As I mentioned early on, this game, at first, it's not necessarily an autopilot, but you will be hitting next turn quite often. And as you establish a few more colonies and begin to make contact with other races, that's when it's going to slow down and you're going to have to hit all the different items. But we're going to take a look where we're at. Remember, we don't have freighters, so I have to buy freighters right away. So some of my excess food can make its way over to Whirl. Because right now, it can only feed itself. So that's a waste of productivity. Should have had convoys, but I don't. And I did explain the tax rate very much. It's not 20%. If I remember correctly in the instructions, it's not 20%. It's 20% of the earnings, if I remember correctly. But I'm going to have to look that up. I'm going to download one of the manuals somewhere. I'm going to find it online. And I'll be able to explain what that means. But I keep it on 20%. Now, the higher the tax, as in the American system, the more you tax someone, the less productive they are. So if you want to get the most production, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to have to cough again, bear with me. I just had a cup of joe, I had a, a swig of my cup of joe and it made me cough, so I do apologize. Let me adjust the headset again and get right back to it. The higher you tax, the more money you get, but the production drops. The lower the tax, the higher production. Zero tax, you have maximum production, but very little money. So that's what generally that means. And you'll notice it's down to 53 where we need 344 research points. And to give you an idea of what my production is, if we do the math correctly, I have one scientist, two scientists, and my research is four each. Because each scientist will give me three but remember I chose the bonus early on, so I'm getting one extra. So the plus one is exactly one point of production. In this case, it's science. And science is the only one that is not for, uh, affected by the poor or very poor when it comes to minerals. Everything else is production, food, all that stuff. So you have to remember that when you choose the planets. So anyway, I've got my other scout, he's headed out here because they have, I know you can't see it very well, from boots where I'm pointing to where it's going, there is a wormhole. Just like Lan is going over to there, and if you remember, Lan has an ultra poor, and what this screen does, planets, it shows me what is available, so there's a lot of good stuff out there, and I've got to get it before someone else does. So I can sort it by priority of climate, minerals, and size. And I can also have several other description uh, restrictions. No enemy presence, normal gravity, non-hostile, mineral, whatever, etc. Doesn't need to be very complex right now while we begin. So let's hit next turn. And scouts arrive at Syntaxis. It's poor and abundant. So it's like having one and a half. Situla. It's the first time I've heard that name. Ah, there's only one good planet here. Three other poor ones, so I'm not going to really bother with that one. So if I were to try to get back non-wormhole, look how long it's going to take me. Nine turns. But if I go back through the wormhole, 
it's one turn so this is like a stargate or a Borg conduit so I'm gonna come back let's see you know what it might be better for me to go this way this one I have to come back to this area because I got discovered these planets right here so 20% rate 52 turns down to 336 check my colonies freighter fleet I need probably by maybe two more turns I'll be able to buy these Let's see plus one in the food from world Ugh, bummer whoa we have combat at boots a Darlock frigate so I've now made contact so have they taken it yet no they have not so if my frigate remains there they will not be able to land anything unless there's a non-aggression agreement or I vacate it so I'm not I want to hold it for a little while because yeah two two abundant planets see now I can buy this so I spent 40 of my 44 billion credits and now I have five five freighters I can move this to here but look see here's my problem so I might have to reduce this here so I can s to get them going so my production on my main planet has dropped because I've got to feed all these little rat bastards okay that guy left so I'm gonna go here now it's gonna take me four turns when you go into nebulas everything slows down you also lose shields stuff like that so Khan and Kirk are familiar with this Regulus oh man look at that those are good planets and these abundant this small deserts actually good for food these aren't because they're radiated Ugh. I, I don't have anything to get out there it's a bummer see I I added another colonist I'm gonna drop him and put him under productivity because I need to build and I'm building an automated factory so I can speed up look eight industry workers in their building of finished products generates five production and increases the production each worker generates by one so it gives me five points of production and everyone I have working will plus one so in six more turns I can get it nothing and for hydroponics, 175 billion credits. I only have 25. I'm hanging on the edge now. But now it looks like the freighters are helping out. One freighter is being used to transport food over there. So if I can get the hydroponic farm activated, that'll give me plus two, even though I don't have any farmers on the planet. That's why early on hydroponic farms are important. Oh, there's a Space Hydra at Magellan. I think I'm going to lose my frigate. Yep, I lost it. There's a hero. Oh, it's Magdalen. What a star system. This is now my priority. I have to get two big ships, go beat that, and get that. I mean, that's that's like, that's that's another capital. I could survive... And this leader, he's an officer, he's a commander Sparky, he's an engineer. What does this do? If you have 31 billion... Okay, that's the money. Yes, yes, yes. What does he give me? Yeah, okay. He gives me plus 5 on ordinances and 3% on engineer. Okay, here it is. Right click. He increases the restoration rate of a shield of a ship's shields by 3%. In addition, the engineer repairs all damage after a battle. Right-click ordnance. Commander Sparky, the Mechlar Cybernaut, increases the maximum damage of a ship by 5. So, eh, he's alright. But I wouldn't hire him. So, 29 billion credits that I'm short. 
So in other words, it's going to cost me 60 right now. But I only have 31. So that's, that's what that means. And for the hydroponic farms, I'm sure at 149. So I'm going to continue. Scouts arrive at Kadath. There's nothing there. Desert planet, medium tundra, not too bad, but not much. Go check that one out. Automated factory. I'm going to be able to buy it next turn. Hydroponic farms. Yeah. You can increase your money by increasing your planetary stuff and research deals and trade deals. I, I don't have very much money, so I'm not going to spend it. I'm going to let it play through. So again, I'm just... Oh. Gazelle. There's nothing. Oh, they finished the automated factory. So look at where my production's now gone up to. It's still 56 billion credits, but I'm now earning seven dollars. So it's done a little bit more research lab. It houses the state-of-the-art computer equipment, creating a superior research environment, generates five research points, and increases the research each of each scientist by one. So I have eight right now. If I get that, I will jump up to 13, 14, 15. So I will almost double my production when that thing is finished. And it's in five more turns. So, Gazelle. Choose the ship. I'm going to have it go here. I don't think there's anyone around me, so I may have some room to play with. How much for that? 67. I'm still way short. But my food... Oh! I arrived in the Mirandi system and I found a hundred billion credits. Two poor planets. Eh, well. That was lame. I'm gonna have it move further. I'm going to buy the hydroponic farms so I can move people from here to there. See? I finished the hydroponic farm. And now I'm building marine barracks. And the reason why I choose marine barracks is now these guys, lets the colony train troops for ground invasion protection. It begins with four marine units, then trains one unit every five turns, up to the planet's maximum population. Eliminates morale penalties for dictatorships and feudal governments. And then it's going to be automated factory and then the missile base. And we'll see what, what's going to happen from there. So... I'm building that. I'm now plus two on the food. I can move this guy. Notice I went down to zero on the food. I can put him either here or here. That's where I'm going to put him right now. And I'm going to spend the money on the lab. 44. So there we go. See, we're already on turn 20. Oh, wow. The Bayhem system. Oh, what a nice planet, but it's ultra poor. This one's good. And there's another stable wormhole, because remember, these are gas giants. I can build an outpost on there, but to what end? It's only to extend range. See, I have my research. It's done. I am not going to build a base yet, but I need a colony ship. 41 turns, but it's not going to take me 41 turns. So we're going to head out over here and check out and see what's there from Bayham. So I'm going to reduce this to here. And see, we dropped to 33 points. 33 turns. But our research production is up to 15. Look, it's an abundant in the Zib star system. I'm going to bring it back. I'm surprised I haven't made contact with anyone yet. That does surprise me. That's fine. Sometimes I can go to the info box, take a look, population, whatever, tech review, shows me where I'm at, race statistics. I've chosen dictatorship, industrial production plus one, scientific research plus one, ground combat minus 10, espionage minus 10, 
low gravity, subterranean, and creative. There's nothing. And I can check reference, check a lot of stuff. So here's my net income is 5 billion credits. 14, 14 billion credits are my income. 64% go to buildings. The left is, the or what's left over is 5. I like the history graph, but there's nothing to compare it to. So let's move again. So my ship is back. I'm going to go there next. This guy, I, I've got to get, I got to get a missile base there fast, because there's nothing else to protect it. And I need to cough again. So we're going to continue again. No contact yet, which is fine. I'm actually surprised that I have not had any contact yet. Wait, food is plus one now. So look, this is what's going to happen. This is the times when you're making more money. See, if I move them out of the food, it's, you know, it uh, does me no good. Because I'm going to be minus one. So it just goes to the money. You earn more money because of it. I could send them to Viral to build up the, the colony. But I need five freighters to do that. So I need at least another five. If you want to move one population point, you need five freighters. So this is really just for colony supplying at this point. It's imperative I get more planets. Look at this. The Fanto system. It's not much there. Oh, made contact. The silicoids. The entire human race will kneel before the mighty silicoid empire, Czar Roger. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, whatever, homie. There they are. They just took over Zib. That's why they made contact. And so they have three colonies already. So I'm okay. They're really not going to take anything from me. But I am going to try to make contact. I'm going to talk to them. I chose audience. Oh! there, There's nothing. There's nothing you can do. The only thing it is... Declare war, surrender, goodbye, or ask for a peace treaty. Can't do any trades, nothing. So, sorry. And that's because... The reason why you can't do anything is because they're xenophobic industrialists. Xenophobia means they don't make contact other than peace, war, or except your certain... But they're at war with the Bulrathi. They don't have any active spies against me, and there are no alliances. And based on what I can see, I can scan through and see what technology they have but it doesn't really matter right now I don't have any spies nothing so if he sends spies against me he could sabotage my stuff he could he could end my world so in the perfect world I would put a colony ship here to block him but I don't have anything right now I hit next turn Zarek, nothing. Okay, it's too far out of range. All of these are too far out of range, so I'm going to head on over to this one. And I will have discovered the universe in my area. I still need 1,190 billion credits. I need 80 for the Marine Barracks. No changes. Scouts arrive in the HAP system. That's eh, a worthless system. So I'm going to zoom across, take the wormhole, see what's over there, and hopefully I don't lose my ship. Marine barracks. They'll be done in 20 turns. Or, check the money, 50 billion credits. This is going to cost me 110. I have 60. I need 50 more. I have 60, it's going to total 1,090 at this point. I just don't have the money. Just got to keep building. Ugh, it's a large swamp, 16 max, but it's ultra poor. Me no likey. So, alright. 
Those are all the planets in my known universe. Oh, I've got two colonists now. See how my drop down, my food dropped down to zero? Because the on on rural I have a hydroponic farm which is plus two. Now I don't want to destroy it. See here's my production. So here's my industry summary. Produced by workers is six. The human bonus is for each one is one each, so it's two. I have a morale penalty. It'll be wiped away once I get the marine barracks. Is minus 1.6. I have a pollution penalty is minus two, so my total production is four. Let's go over here. How did I get there? It's all four, yes. Look at this. Industry summary. It's produced by workers is 12. The human bonus is four because I have four workers. The automated factory added four and five because it gave one to each of my workers and it gave me five automatic points. So I'm getting a total of nine right now. There's a pollution penalty of minus seven and the tax from industry is minus three. So it's 15 total points for industry. Let's click on this one. Produced by farmers is eight. Hydroponic farm is plus two for a total of 10. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. So that's just enough. And what's my see? There it is. Produced by scientists is six, three each. The human bonus is one, as I chose early on. Every scientist will create plus one. The research lab gives me plus one for each guy there, and five extra for total of fifteen. So, let's do it again. So if I get another guy over here, I'm going to have to move someone from here to there for the food. Or someone from here to there for the food. Ugh. Very close to purchasing this one. Still way off. We still only have three colonies. I'm plus one. Yeah, you see what happened? They got someone else who's creating two, but it's one extra. So if I remove them, move them here, I'm minus one, so people are going to start starving. So it's just one of those things where it happens. So I'm going to buy the marine barracks, and the morale bonus is minus 1.6. You're going to see it go away. My industry is plus four. You're going to see it jump, I believe, to six. Let's see. Move this bad boy. Yeah, you know what? Let's see if I move there. One, three, four, five. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have him go that way. It's going to take a little while, but we'll get it done. So, we've got the marine barracks. There it is. Oh, wait. Now I'm creating more pollution. So I lost the morale penalty. But now my pollution penalty went up. My taxation, because I'm now doing productivity. So I'm plus four. Great. So that didn't do me very much. So I'm barely surviving. But I'm alive. My colony ship, 765 billion credits I still need. Wow. Still quite a bit more, but you'll notice that I'm down to 10 turns for a neural scanner, scout lab, and security stations. I don't need any of this stuff. I don't use any of it, but I know what I have to get to, so I have to go there. And since I'm close, I may get there before the 10 turns. Because as I get within 10% or so, it gives me a modifier, and I may discover it almost right away. So let's move. Let's see, nine turns. This is 601. I have 39 billion credits. I'm running $7 every turn. See, as they work, they're killing off time and 
uh, they're killing off time. They're building it, and it gets cheaper. So you see, I'm at 3% now. So this will be good. It's just I have to get to the next step. The Barathi and Silicon Empires are now at peace. Awesome. Can I buy it? 57 short. 443 short. Alright. I'm at 6% now. Oh! Commander Agosarius, the Trelaren Navigator. You'll find Commander Agosarius who joins you out of gratitude for being rescued. Bad planets. I'm going to have him go here. But he's going to board that frigate. Which is a frigate. Have him go there. Five turns to get there? But we just found him. Whatever. 30 billion credits now. The neural scanner with improved data processing methods, the pathways of the brain can be mapped and analyzed. It provides a near-perfect lie detector used by spies to elicit information, adding plus 10 to all spy rolls. Scout Lab, a computer-assisted laboratory that generates an amount of research dependent on ship size. Also adds plus 10 per size class to the attack role of all ships in the fleet, fighting space monsters or on Terrans. Security st stations automatically controls and monitors vital sections of a ship, attacking intruders with computer-controlled weapons. Adds plus 20 to the combat roles of Marines when defending against enemy borderers. So uh, there's Hollow Simulator. I want that one and the Planetary Supercomputer. Hollow Simulator, capable of creating realistic 3D images from holographic projections, increases a planet's morale by 20%. That's a big one. And the Planetary Supercomputer su supplies researchers with a vast amount of information, generates 10 research points, and increases the research of each scientist by 2 that's a good one. So that's where I'm going. I will get two of the three that I want. So we're at turn 39. It's going to take 900 research points, 71 turns, but it won't take 71. Let's move on. They still only have three colonies. Oh, wow. Look at this. Juka. And this goes to Waz. So I hope there aren't any enemy, enemy ships there, but I'm going to check it out because I'm nosy. I can now buy the automated factory, and I need to get this production up. I should have saved it for the colony ship, but it's done. It's a small, abundant ship. Oh, they have a destroyer. I have a frigate. They're destroy. Oh! They're attacking me. What a bastard. So I'm going to retreat, and they already damaged me because they got the first shot in. Bastards. Yeah, I'm damaged. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do at this point. Yeah, they got me. See? So I paid for it. We're not friends. We're not enemies, but I went to his planet and I paid the price. So now I'm going to be able to get a missile base in 13 turns. My colony ship. I need the colony ship bad. So... I have no ships, nothing, and no contacts anywhere. I have to cough again, excuse me. I'm not doing very well at this game. My food's back down to zero. But I'm going to have a colony ship in 10 turns, missile base in 11. Yeah, I don't want you, Captain. Again, I'm just gonna... Oh, you see? Now he's got spies. He stole my security stations. But I don't know that he has spies because I have no spies as well. So, I, I'm, I'm in bad shape and he knows I don't have spies. So he's gonna start... Bastard. So... I have to... I need a spy. Freighter... This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to reset. I'm going to just have that one go in advance. Just get there when I get there. 
He's pro he's going to steal something else. I have no spies. Still only three. You see, now he stole the scout lab. Bastard. This can happen early on. If you choose to have a negative rating on spies. See, I've got to increase my production to 20. My f oh! See that? So this this extra food will give me more money. So I need a spy, so I'm going to buy the missile base now. Okay, so if someone attacks me, I have a missile base, and that's pretty good. Colony ship, three turns away. Oh, he now has four colonies. So I have a new ship. So I'm going to build a colony base so I can increase my empire, and I'm going to leave it at that for now. My food is still plus one. Spies, how much before I can buy him? 122 billion credits. Still a lot. Okay, which planet am I going to take? What is the best planet? I need production bad. So I want an ultra rich planet. Oh, I've got one right in my own system. So let me do it by minerals. Rich, rich, rich. Hell, is Palladia taken? Hold on. I have to take the wormhole to get over there. That's pretty close to the enemy. I've got to, you see, I got to start taking these star systems close to me, so I don't let them get close and just move in. Okay, look, my, I'm plus two on the food, so I'm going to move him over here. So it increases. See what the productivity does? One more guy takes the turn down. And if I do it over here, see that for the colony ship, it moved at one. But I'm going to, I need Saul right now to do that. Oh, man. I want Viral to build a colony base. It's going to start doing it. So I'm going to have it done like that, in that order. So that means my colony ship, I can't go there because I need ships to beat it. There's Palladia. Oh man taking a massive risk by going over there. This is plus 10, but that's heavy G. So heavy gravity is obviously not a good thing. Rex might be the planet I want. I want to keep them away too, but I don't want to move in so they can just come over and conquer me as well. You know what? I'm going to go down to Thoth. That way I can start discovering those as well. Okay, let's do it. Headlines. 300 billion to the Nolam Empire. So I know they're in the game now. Notice how I lost a point because the colony ship so 
nothing yet. Oh, I can buy a spy. Awesome. Done. Purchased. So I'm going to take this one and watch what's going to happen to my food. I'm going to have to put someone to feed them. That's where the freighters come in. So I'm going to do the same thing. Hydroponic farms, marine, automated factory, missile base, and research lab, and then star base. Can I buy it? No. The Clackon and Silicon Empire. So the Clackons are in now. So I have to move someone to feed these bastards. So I'm going to have to move him there. Yeah, I have to move him because I'm going to have to. I'll lose production over here on the main one. I can't. So I now have three colonies. Uh oh. Hope I can trade with them. Ah, oh, the damn Darlocks. Your empire's pathetic, Zara Roger. I will personally see to your utter destruction. Oh! The Mershons. Can I exceed in your female attempts at mastery, Zara Roger? Yeah, thanks. Oh, they're way down here. I'm gonna lose this colony. I'm gonna lose it fast. I'm gonna move this up here and see if I get lucky. I'm not. I'm not gonna get lucky. But I need to make some money. So Darlocks. Excuse me. Oh, awesome. They went for the trade treaty. So it starts off at negative 8 billion credits per turn. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Silicoids. Didn't mean to bother you. Let's go back over here. Ooh. Trade treaty? Yes! You don't ask for very much, otherwise they get pissed off, and then they come back and are you see. I'm in the minus. That was wrong. Ugh, that was bad. But with each turn, you end up paying less. That was a mistake on my part. But I want money and I'm greedy. See, my treasury is eight, and I'm net income minus seven. Ugh. So I'm about to raise taxes. One turn. I can't get into the minus. Another turn. There we go. <laughs> the Sacro Empire. They were shocked to discover a virus in the Robotics Research Center's computers. All systems were infected, totally in loss of 55 research points. That sucks. Okay. That's fine. I'm not going to reduce this back to 20. And look at races. Now, minus one and minus three. So I'm actually going to start earning a little bit of money very soon. Can't buy anything. I can't defend Thoth. It's going to suck. I'm going to lose that colony. Nolums. The peaceful Nolum people welcome the chance to live side by side. The honorable humans. Yeah, I'm not going to do a treaty. You know what? Yes, I am because I'm already plus five. Oh, how about a research treaty? That he went for. So now, the research treaty is 8 billion credits minus, which is going to help this go up. Watch, I'm at 20. That's going to go up. Oh, look at this. They're right here. And it looks like they might get Rex. So they're already infringing on my space. There's really not much I can do about it. See, look. Oh, they killed my spy. Probably the Darlocks, those bastards. But you see, I'm now up to 25 research points per turn. Usually the Darlocks, they're pretty good at it. They, they just love killing my spies. The bastards that they are. Probably going to do another colony base. Then the missile base. Another spy for right now. I'm I'm freaking out because I'm not I'm not in control of my universe. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna go to the ultra rich one. So the colony base is ready, and now I've created this planet. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, thank you. So I'm um, up 25. <sighs> yep. 
Yeah, Viral, I'm going to put him to work over here. Because I need my productivity of my main planet. I'm going to move this guy over here so I can get it going. So I'm back down to 20. But notice I'm starting to earn more money. I'm at 17 billion credits now. Oh, he lived? Somehow he escaped. So, they're starting to close in on me. It's not good. I'm just trying to build up my empire. See, I'm earning 25 billion credits per turn now. I begin to buy stuff, but it's just not working out the way I want it to be. Leaders, calling leaders. Nope. So you have got two st two planets in the star system. See two and Sol. He's already arrived. So Varol is going to add a colony base soon, hopefully. I'm sure they're robbing me blind, but I don't know it. Look at that. I can now buy that. So Thoth is now contributing to the Empire. They stole the Scout Lab. Okay, so I can now put this guy over here. Or even, yeah, any production. So it gets a little easier when you start buying stuff, or you have money. So Thoth, I need the missile base, it's priority now. It's a rich colony. I need money to buy that missile base. And I'm earning 29 billion credits per turn. So, let me see. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to ask him for a science treaty. Or a research treaty. Ah, yep, didn't like it. Okay, fine. If you. We're going to ask you for a trade treaty. Waited a long time to gain access to the valuable human goods. Alright. Thanks, dude. So I'm now down to 19, but oh look, I can buy another one. So I'm plus two on the food and I can move people from farming over to production with the hydroponic farms. Now I have another spy. So this guy, I can move him over here. And these Virol can prattle along for a little while. I've got to get the money for this and Thoth, that missile base. My scanners don't show any activity. I'm going to lose Rex. See, these guys are trapped down here. So they're going to eventually engage war with one of us. $21. Or 21 billion credit. You see, they kill my spy. Effing Darlocks. That's the problem when you don't... Yeah, I mean, it just is. I'm plus one on food now, so I probably got another guy here. Now I need the, the missile base. I've actually got a chance to secure that colony. And uh, I might get really, really lucky. We're now at war. Nope, I'm not going to... It did make it in time. I lost it. They, they, they destroyed it. So we're at war. So, the human and the kitties are now at war, and they've, uh, yeah, it's blockaded now. They, you know, I'm never going to be able to make the missile base in time, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're going to invade. Which ships are in orbit? Two frigates, two destroyers. They're going to bring transports over. So that guy's dead. 
I got close. Not close enough. Sorry, dude. So, alright. Saul's gonna create another colony base. There it is, they attacked. For infantry, they did it. So they may get my technology now. So that was another colony base. So Earth is maxed out right now. So I'm going to do the same thing to get this colony going. The colony base was destroyed. I got to move this guy here to feed everyone in the Empire. So, they're going to get close to Saul. This has a star base, they'll never... But, you know, these guys don't have protections. I don't have any ships. Don't have any spies, don't have anything. This, I am not long for this universe. See, now they took this star system over here. Trifid. My scanners are very primitive, so I don't can't see very far. See, and now I'm starting to have the problem where I have these planets, they have no farming on them, so I'm losing production because I've got to feed them. But I can actually save some by sending colonists over there for eight turns and look what happened see I needed five freighters to move them over but my food dropped to zero so I've got about seven turns till they arrive so temper hollow simulator this will help so this can increase my production on all of my planets It's going to make a big difference, but I can only really get it on one anyway. So, I am going to continue. Hollow Simulator is coming up next. And you're going to see the production on this planet just zoom. So I'll be able to take people off of farming and move them to other stuff. But at this point, I don't know how long I've been running. It's been over 30 minutes. We're actually going to go ahead and finish it at this point. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys for joining me, but we're now on turn 87. This is where we're at. I have three colonies. No, I have two colonies. But I have three planets here. And two planets there. I am not in a good position. Yeah. It's not good at all. So... I should have taken Rex, but I didn't. I was dumb. Uh, we're going to call it. I want to thank everyone for joining me. Please, put your comments. Please don't forget to hit like. Please subscribe. Let me know what you think. If I'm going too fast. I'm sure I'm going way too fast. But if you have any questions about the game, go ahead and put it in there. Let me know if you don't like the strategy I'm playing, because right now I'm not doing very well. And if you have any comments, go ahead, leave them in there. And I look forward to uh, seeing what you guys have to say. So let me go ahead and save this game. And I'm going to use this slot right here. And I'm going to call it 87. Yeah, I think I already saved it, did I? Yeah. Why didn't let me give it a, why didn't I give it, let me give it a name? There it is. 87. Save. So notice the timestamp. 
we load the game, it's at 8.35, turn 87. We were on 7, now we're on 87, so we're good. Our autosave is down there as well. Oh, our autosave is on 84, so that's the interesting thing about this game. There are temporal displacements throughout the game. And my buddy, Da Vinci X, I will tell this story. It's one of my favorite stories, and it has to do with this game. Uh, actually, the first game, Master of Orion. But uh, it's a great story, and I use it because of this autosave. It's a temporary... It's a, a temporal displacement. It's in the game. It's part of the game, and you got to use everything you can to win, folks. So we're going to go ahead and quit the game, and you may see a few screens that I don't want you to see, but it is. It's done. We're going to quit. We want to leave. Thanks, and we are out.